So first off, let me say this. And this is this is to all people who are commenting on that last video concerning that rat boxer. Let me explain something to you. I had a hit put on my life by the Arizona Mexican Mafia. I had certain members who politicked against me, try to smut me up, lying on my name, just so they could have other people try to get me. These are facts. And an active member made a statement to a detective in open court, which is snitching, when he said that they were going to kill me because he believed I was something I wasn't. Now, Greyhound has since, and you can go on to the first Wrong 100 on his channel, Merry Lifers, um, where he speaks to um, how, he how he tried to defend me in the beginning because he was an insider there at the time fighting the murder case that he is doing life for now, which I am named as a suspect in, just for a little bit of context here. Now, I never ran, and I never will. I never broke, I never folded, and I never will. I go live on location, Everyone knows where I'm at. I do it for hours and I say what I want about whoever I want, however I want. There's no coward in me. I'm an honorable, dignified human being who's living his life as I please without anyone to dictate nothing on mine, period. Now, when it comes to all of these rats who dropped out and snitched on and made deals against the, the Mexican mafia, both in Arizona and California, you can go and you can look at what they claim in the beginning as to what attracted them to the Mexican mafia. And they all admit this, that they were drawn to it by the power, the respect that those carnales got from being members of the, of the Mexican mafia, the clout. They got involved in it to begin with for the clout, period. This is a fact because this has come out of their mouths. What they failed to realize when they made these statements and claiming that that's why they did it, they fail to realize that it will come back to bite them in the ass because they're clout chasers. It proves it now by what they're doing now. So they're, they got involved because they themselves then gained the power and the respect and all this other stuff that they did. Now, mind you, with all of them, they all had to have people hold their hands in the murders that they did commit if they did commit murders, right? But the fact of the matter is, is that all of us took an oath, blood in, blood out. And there are those members who have lost their lives. There's those recently who've lost their lives in California who were ranking members of the Mexican mafia over politicking and everything else. And there's even innocent lives lost as a result of this is recent. You don't think that any one of them saw it coming? You don't think that any one of them could have could have easily broke and ran and cried to the cops for help? Help! Help! You don't think so? Yes, they could have. Just like in the same way that people want to justify their snitching and ratting. Well, I would have been equally justified, but it's not in me. I'm not weak. Just like those members who took a blood in and blood out oath, they died for it. So there's no excuse for, nor justification for, nor damn sure any honor in what they've done in breaking weak. Because the fact of the matter was, is they were cowards going into it. They were weak going into it because that's what the, all they wanted was that attention. And now... They get out and they want to act like there's some honor in what they did. They have no honor. If they had honor in joining it, they lost all honor and respect when they decided to rat. 
and not live up to their blood oath. Because some of us ain't going to do that. Some of us ain't going to break wheat. Some of us are not cowards like that. And these are the facts. Now, I understand a bunch of groupies and fans who are intrigued by all this, but don't confuse the two. That's what it is. Now, if it was about if it was about doing some good for the kids and all this other shit, then let me explain something to you. One, in the case of Boxer, he wouldn't have come out with a story that has a that's naming Edward James almost, the movie American Me, which is the biggest clickbait you can get. That's the that's the grand of all the clout that he can get by attaching himself to that movie. Now, if it was really about doing some good, then it's easy to 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 promote anecdotes, to put out anecdotes, you know, stories, actual stories and have a moral to those stories. But he has no morals. They have no morals. They have no honor. They have no values. They have no principles. The only purpose in what they're doing is to get paid, period. Now, if that's what it's about, then that's what it's about. Be honest about it. There's no need for people to sit there and lie and act like it's something that it's not. Because they can't. And as far as people believing that this fool boxer is some intelligent human being, he's not. For all of us who've done time, he read every book that every last one of us have read. Whether we were fucking Chicanos, Mexicanos, the Aryans, the blacks, no matter what we were, we all read that same literature. But he doesn't have, he's not versed in anything beyond that. He's not. He can't, he can't get into the depths of world politics, world history, U.S. politics, U.S. history, the law, the constitution, religion of all religions. He's not versed in the scriptures. No, he's very narrow in what he does know, which speaks to the level of intelligence that he has. Although he can speak broad on a particular subject, he can only speak broad on one subject. So let's not make him out to be more than what he is. He's a rat. He's a coward. He's weak. He's in Federal Witness Protection Program under, under an assumed name. And let's not forget that. He's a clout chaser then who, who joined the Mexican Mafia for the clout. And now he went and turned and ratted because he's weak. And he's coming online for the clout. Period. Let's not be fooled now, people. As far as myself, the statutes of, there are no statutes of limitations on anything that I was implicated in concerning my involvement with the Arizona Mexican Mafia, with the street gangs, or with the cartel. So I can never get into those type of deals, those, those type of details about any of it and tell those type of stories because I'm subject to the death penalty. Now that's gangster. Peace and I'm out.